Alright, hey everybody, so as Roger Cumble said, in After We Collided, there is sex, more sex, a lot more sex, so let's go ahead and talk about the sex scenes in After We Collided. So in the book, there are about eight sex scenes that are actually in the book, and they consist of the office sex scene, the drunk sex scene, teaching and getting off in front of each other, sex while Hardin's mom was there, after yoga sex, shower oral sex, jealousy sex after Tessa kisses another guy, and NYE party sex on the floor. So all in total, about eight sex scenes that are actually in the book. Now, do I think that all of those scenes are actually going to be adapted for the film? No. Uh, and mainly because, look, the ratings board, uh, for the people who are actually given the ratings, um, they care about quantity just as much as graphicness of the scenes when it comes time to actually put the rating on the film. And I'm going to use Fifty Shades Darker as an example here. All right, so in Fifty Shades Darker, they did shoot uh, what is known as like a, <clears throat> excuse me, what is a fan favorite scene, which is the pool table uh, sequence. They did shoot that for the theatrical cut, and that was actually in the original cut um, when they first sent it to the ratings board to get the rating. But the ratings board came back and said, Okay, you can either have the elevator um, fingering uh, pleasure sequence, or you can have the pool table sequence. Pick one. We're not going to give you both. You're not going to get away with both. So pick one. And of course, they ended up going with the elevator sequence, and uh, the pool table sequence got relegated to the extended cut on the Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, that's just an example to kind of let you guys know that, yes, the ratings board does care about quantity as much as they do about graphicness. So the one sequence that I can go ahead and, and almost with like 100% certainty say that even though I think that this scene is so important, even though I think that this is a very important scene, I would like to see it adapted um, to actually be in the film. I think it is a very, you know, uh, uh, I think it is a very great scene. I think that they, they should do this in the film. I don't think the ratings board is going to let them get away with it. And that is, of course, the teaching and getting off in front of each other sequence. Um... Unless they do some serious heavy editing or some serious, you know, um, w different camera work with it. Like, I, I don't see them being able to put the teaching and getting off in front of each other sequence. Uh, as much as it pains me, I, I just don't see that scene being able to actually get into the film. Uh, maybe if they actually did shoot the scene, maybe in an, in an extended cut of the movie, but not in the theatrical cut. I just don't see the ratings board letting them get away with that in an R-rated uh, movie. Um, the drunk sex scene. I don't think that that scene is actually going to be in the film as is in the book. I think that they are actually going to have to do some creative editing with that. Uh, just based on audience reactions, just based on audience reactions, I don't think that the drunk sex scene in Seattle is going to be as is as it is in the book. I think they are going to have to make a few changes to that scene. Uh, but yeah, for I know I can almost say for certainty we're going to get the office sex. Uh, we're going to get, you know, uh, jealousy sex after Tessa kisses another guy. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the after yoga sex. The shower oral sex. Uh, they pretty much go back and forth in terms of, like, what you can actually show in a film. Uh, I'm trying to remember who who does it to who, because that, that could be the, the big thing here. Because I think they're actually afraid of female sexuality above male sexuality. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if, if the shower... All right, I'll put it like this. If the shower oral sex scene is her getting him off is her actually blowing him, then I could honestly see that scene being in the movie or, you know, getting away with it in an R-rated movie. But if it's him going down on her, they do have a problem with female sexuality. They do, you know, attack scenes of female sexuality more than they do actually male sexuality. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that scene. Uh, it really does kind of... I think it is going to like kind of like come down to um, whoever... Um, like, whoever's getting off in that sequence, like, whoever is actually doing the getting off, if, if it's her going, if it's her, uh, you know, blowing him, then I could honestly see it, I could honestly see it being in the movie, uh, if it's him going down on her, mm, not so much, uh, or actually, if I were them, I would pretty much, uh, 
put all of, all of these scenes in the movie with pretty much like in the back of my head going like, okay, I'm going to take off the teaching and getting off in front of each other sequence. So almost like the 50 shades thing, like I would almost see the, the ratings board, like kind of like coming to them and saying, you know what? We will either give you the shower oral sex scene, or we will give you the teaching and getting off in front of each other. Pick one. Uh, because like I, like I said, and like that's actually the theme of this video, is that not only does the ratings board care about the, quanti the, the graphicness of the scenes, they also care about the number of sex scenes. So I don't think that there's any way that they'll actually be able to get away with eight sex scenes. But I can almost go ahead and guarantee you that we're going to get the office sex scene, we're going to get the drunk sex scene. Uh, depending on the... Uh, depending on the... Uh, the layout of the apartment because there was like another picture that came out and it looked like they have that same damn apartment. Uh, I can almost guarantee that we'll get like the sex while Hardin's mom was there. Uh, they better give us the after yoga sex. They better do like some stuff with the yoga things. Um, so yeah, that's like one, two, three, four. The NYE party sex on the floor. Oh, boy. Uh, it all comes down to how they're shooting the sex scenes. It all comes down to actually how they're shooting these scenes. Uh, because for all I know, they could put every single scene in the movie. They could put all eight of these scenes in the movie. I'm sure that all of us fans would actually be happy if they put all eight sex scenes in the movie. But of course, with the ratings board, like I said, like I've, like I've been saying throughout this entire video, there's just no way that they'll be able to, you know, it, it's also about quantity, not just the graphicness, but it's also about the quantity. It's also about the number of sex scenes. Uh, but yeah, the, the ones that I can pretty much almost all but guarantee that will actually be in the film are the office sex scene, the drunk sex scene, sex while Hardin's mom was here, and the after yoga sex scene. Though, and that's about four. Uh, and I'll probably even throw in the uh, NYE party sex on the floor scene. I'll even throw that in uh, for good measure. So that's, so that's five. But yeah, like I said, it's all about quantity, not just the graphicness. And uh, again... <sighs> They are promising the world with this film. Uh, Roger Cumble is promising the world with this film. And like he said, there's sex, more sex, a lot more sex. Uh, so yeah, if they are kind of uh, pushing the sex scenes, either we could get, you know, all eight of these scenes, or we could only end up getting about four or five, four or five. Uh, so yeah, jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think about all this. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. As always, remember, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go through all the stuff you'll be able to find on this channel right now. So every day I'm going to be doing daily uploads of the after series read throughs where I literally go through the books and read to you guys page by page, chapter by chapter. The first three books after, after we collided and after we fell are already on the are already on the channel to their completion. I'm working on After Ever Happy right now. I'll do that. And then I'll also be doing the book before as well because so many of you guys have actually requested that. And those will be daily uploads barring any types of uh, illnesses or issues. Now that we have the official green light of the After We Collided movie, I'll be bringing you guys constant, constant, constant updates on that. So keep looking forward to that. You guys are going to be so updated that you'll be begging me to stop the updates. And those updates will also cover After We Fell and After Ever Happy. So once we get the green light on those two movies, I'll also be bringing you guys constant updates on those as well. Every other day, I'll be posting, you know, different topics, especially now that After We Collided has been finished filming. I'll be posting, you know, different topics that come up in the After fandom. So if there's a topic out there that you guys want to see me talk about, go ahead and either leave it down in the comments, or you can find me on either Twitter, email, or my Facebook. All the relevant information is on the About section of the channel. As always, remember, this channel would not be able to go to the heights that it has without you guys. And so for that, I'm eternally, eternally grateful. But I think we all know that there are plenty of Afternators out there who have no idea that this channel exists. So go ahead and share the channel around. Continue to spread the word of Charles's movie channel, because this will become the best damn After Series channel that you'll find right here on YouTube. As always, remember, if you like what you see here, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. As always, remember, my name is Charles. Welcome to the After Series channel, and I'll see you later, Afternators. Take care, y'all. Love you.